welcome back to Bernard Craft with Mark and Mark. I hope you guys enjoyed Ernie's story and getting to know him. He's going to be back again to talk about the Raptors later on. But let's go and talk about just the second round matchup right now that's happening. And maybe besides the Raptors and the Sixers, maybe on the West side, let's talk about a little bit about the Nuggets and the, uh, the Blazers. What are your thoughts so far? I know the series is tied right now, 1-1. What are your thoughts about the matchup and, and, and the players? And, you know, there was a little bit of scuffle between them. What are your thoughts so far about it? Uh, well, I, when it comes to Lillard, he had that chip on the shoulder, like I said <laughs> last week. Mm-hmm. But um, when it comes to Nuggets, uh, when they played the Spurs, mm-hmm. Craig became a starter and Will Barton became a, a backup, right? Yeah. So I think it's little adjustments that they're doing right now. Mm-hmm. And Craig is hurt right now and yeah. broke his nose. Oh, that was awful. Yeah, yeah that, that was that, that, yeah. Um, bad. I think this is going to be like a game seven, but not a lot of people are going to watch it. Yeah. Just like the last. <laughs> That's like the Spurs. <laughs> yeah. That was a game yeah. seven that was not. Yeah. Everybody was like, what? Like, <laughs> yeah. I feel like this is going to be one of the, the tougher series where it is going to be going back and forth with each other. Mm-hmm. I mean, Millsap's doing really well defensively mm-hmm. and offensively. He's been showing up. For them and everything, um, yeah. And like, who else is there? Yeah, I, I like the the matchup. I mean, the backcourt matchup between yeah. McCollum and Lillard and and uh, Gary Harris and yeah. Jamal Murray. Those yeah. are both because all both both these um, guards are basically combo guards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not like you know a straight up fast first. The straight up uh, person just comes off the screen. Like all two, like both both these players um, on both sides are just like straight up. Uh, I mean, they play off of Jokic on one side, whereas Jamal Murray is kind of coming into his zone, whereas Lillard and McCollum kind of plays the same way with that herky-jerky yeah. move coming off the pick and roll or pulling up from like 35 feet. Yeah. So it's a good matchup between them. And, and, and I think the key factor is right now is Jokic. Like, yeah. how, like, he's dominant so far. That's how they were able to come past yeah. uh, the Spurs is because of how good he's been playing. You know what's and, funny is that Cantor... Yeah. Is not a great defender, but no. this year he got a little I, better. He, he showed up, yeah. Because yeah. in yeah. Knicks he sucked as a yeah. defensive player. In yeah. OKC he wasn't really good. I think and he just needed an environment yeah. where he's like, oh yeah, I need to put effort in. I can. I, they actually need me to play defense. Yeah, yeah. so he showed up. He showed, he showed up. Yeah. I mean, the, when Nurkic got hurt, yeah. he really did show up. He stepped what, up. Yeah. What about the Warriors and and the Houston Rockets so far? I mean, uh, the Warriors are up to zero. Uh, the first game was a little controversial with a lot of, you know, focusing not even on the game but the calls. And then game two was kind of just like um, Durant just kind of shied off. And then Curry had a little bit of an injury too with his finger, a dislocated finger. What are your thoughts with this series so far? For a man with a dislocated finger, kid's still going off. Yeah. It's Did you insane. guys see the picture? Like when <laughs> yeah. He, it was literally like, I don't even know how you can bend your hand yeah. that way. Like fingers. And they they just pull it back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I felt like this series has been really irritating. Mm-hmm. I'm quite annoyed at the series. I'm really going for Houston. I'm really tired of a Golden State. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah. I know you're kind of <laughs> But I'm really I'm really going for like the I'm really going for Houston and mm-hmm. everything right now in this series. But the way that just they've been playing, like what you said before, they bridge just they're just asking for the calls. Yeah. They're not trying to complete the game. They're not trying to finish the game. Yeah. They're just begging for calls. Chris Paul's been and I love Chris Paul. Yeah. He's been begging for calls. James Harden was begging for calls and everything mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Like they'll just stop and they'll look at the ref. Yeah. I'm like, really? You're gonna put this kind of yeah. childish on behavior series, yeah. on a series? You're putting the series on the line yeah. on the ref, like, yeah. Really? Yeah, like the team is different from last year. Last year <laughs> they almost beat the Warriors, and <laughs> Clint Capella is just like getting. I feel like he's getting bullied in his mind. Yeah. It's like you know, Steph Curry blocking his shot is just something else, you know. Yeah. And then there they have the Hampton Five. Yeah. And Draymond Green. Iguodala. Yeah. Yeah, Iguodala. Yeah, Iguodala. Yeah. I mean, like, uh, I was exactly. talking about this recently about the fact that a lot of players had load maintenance for yeah. the whole season. Yeah. yeah. And and you can see right now it's paying off. I mean, three players that comes into my mind was Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Al Horford was on load management and Andre Iguodala. And B needed that. (laughs) And B needed to be on load management, which they didn't. I mean, three players, that's why I'm saying just Iguodala was just, right now, it's just the way he's playing. They thought, you know, who would have thought that losing Cousins, everyone thought like, oh, this is going to be harder for them. And all of a sudden, Iguodala was in the starting five. And then all of a sudden, they just a lot better offensively and defensively with him. Just because I think they can guard that pick and roll really well. They have four or five players that can kind of switch and, and are fast and, and, and are versatile. And I think that's what Iguodala is putting on. And, yeah. and I don't you know, know if you guys are noticing you know what too. He reminds me of his uh, Robert Horry. Yeah. But defensively. Yeah. And that can the, do a yeah. lot of, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. just going to say he's like, he's. He's I'm been so that type of player yeah. that's yeah. been strong defensively ever since, ever yeah. since. Yeah. Mm-hmm. since time where like yeah. he's been that kind of player. Like you'll always be impressed by the way he plays defensively. Yeah. That's the way I yeah. see it with him. 
But he's gotten smarter. But when yep. you watch him play on his AI days, so he was the other AI. Remember, he was called the other AI. He was just athletic, yeah. athletic, a freak. just waiting for Iris to do yeah, something. And he had long arms. Mm -hmm. And but now he's more of a smarter player. So where yeah. his athleticism is still there, but yeah. not as um, prolific as was he was. Yeah. But he just plays. You know, he he studies the yeah. uh, the defense, the, the the offensive player that he has to guard, whether yeah. it's Chris Paul. Or James Harden and just knows how to put them in situations. He shows that, up in the right time, just like over mm -hmm. Ori did. Yeah. So. I just yeah. feel like that's how a vet player yeah. should, should be, be doing. That's mm -hmm. how they should be doing. Like how should they be playing the game, and how they should mm -hmm. be like playing ball and everything. Yeah. And people forgot he was an MVP, like an yeah. NBA yeah, Finals MVP. MVP. Yeah. That's insane to just come come in. And uh, my little two cents just about the the Warriors and the Rockets game is just like we're forgetting how good Durant. Is yeah. I, I think he's just slowly just creeping in because everyone says like who you are as a player or how you rank against everyone in the NBA is how you play in the playoffs. And since yeah. LeBron's not here, they can't really use him and compare. And then you guys are just seeing now how uh, Durant has just shined in terms of an offensive player yeah. and doing yeah. it on both ends of the floor. And I think he's just putting himself in there because if they do end up winning another championship, he's probably going to be the NBA Finals MVP. And remember, he has three Finals MVP now and three titles. So, yeah. like, he's going to rank right there in top in terms of, like, top five, top ten players yeah. of all time. Like, it's, he's right there and people are just kind it's of... It's about that time yeah. that someone take the title because LeBron James has been since, yeah. what, 2007? Yeah. Since, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like now that he wants... I feel like it's just that sense, like, he needs to prove Something that he actually does belong on this team, right? Mm -hmm. He's not trying to ride. He's not trying to ride this team and actually just take take the ring. He's actually mm -hmm. showing up yeah. to try and win the ring for himself and for the team. Mm -hmm. I mean that yeah. even during the season, that whole argument that he had with Draymond Green and everything, like Draymond Green telling him like, Yo, "We don't need you. We don't need you. We'll never need you," and everything like that. I felt like that was just like that kind of sparked, uh, sparked a fire and lit a fire. A little bit, yeah. yeah. Like there's other factors that came in with KD, you know, coming into Golden State, but from mm -hmm. there, I, ju I just felt like. Once you know, once he comes into postseason, just like you know, it's my time to shine, kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I felt that. Yeah. And and last thing, uh, the last series uh, in the East, which the Bucks and the Boston Celtics. Like, what are your thoughts with this series so far? I'm kind of right mind blown one. of um, what um, the coach is doing, Stevens, mm -hmm. Brad Stevens, because uh, he put Al Horford, even Aaron Baines, on Giannis. Mm -hmm. It's I think this um, this uh, matchup is about coaching now because yeah. the first game. Brad Stevens did something, and in the second game, they made an adjustment, but mm -hmm. Coach Bud is doing something. I can't say yeah. his full name for some yeah. reason. <laughs> but Bone Coach Bud yeah. is made an adjustment, and then yeah. they killed him. So yeah. it's kind of like, I think this is This is a battle of the of coaches. Coach. Yes. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. I just feel like this is really going to be that tough series. Yeah. You know, like game seven. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah but that. like, it's very unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Just because you have Boston franchise, like, they've won. Like, yeah. Like, as a franchise, they've won, like, many championships and everything. Whereas Milwaukee suddenly shows up. You know, it's yeah. kind of like that Cinderella story for them, right? Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's, the, it's between that battle that I see. And, like, I feel that. And it's, I think it's just going to be a really good series to watch for sure. Yeah, I agree. And I think at this point, like you mentioned, it's a pretty even team. Yeah. And the coaching makes a big difference. Yep. At, at, but at the end of it all, too, when things... Uh, are pretty even and the coaching is pretty much the adjustment is there it's going to come down to their best player closing in yeah. and I think that to close to close the game I trust Kyrie more than Giannis it's just I was just about to say yeah. just, it's when things like this where it's pretty much even and you have coach Kyrie's that are really clutch. good <laughs> yeah Kyrie's very smart yeah. he probably has by far one of the best ball IQs I've ever yeah. seen offensively offensively like, yeah in terms of like that, if yeah. you need a bucket to, yeah. to win the game He's I there. can trust him more yeah. than yeah, Giannis. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, like yeah. last 30 seconds, he yeah. would find a way to score. Yeah. The so, whole game, I yeah. trust Giannis more, but yeah. like to close off a series, like what yeah, Kyrie yeah. did against the Warriors, yeah. I have to go with Kyrie. 